computed tomography was one of the first uh, methods that radiologists had to look at the, the body uh, in a non-invasive way. And we still use computed tomography to look at uh, some structures in the body. It can also be used to find areas where there's been a, a recent bleeding in, in the body. For example, in, in the setting of, a, of a, someone that's having a stroke and you don't know whether they've had a, blood, a bleed into the brain or a clot instead, uh, CT scanning can be uh, an important tool in resolving that kind of medical uh, distinction that would all affect how you treat the patient. Uh, in terms of looking at brain structure, uh, CT scanning does not have the spatial resolution and tissue contrast resolution that's really uh, needed for neuroscience. And tissue contrast means uh, how well can you tell a gray, gray matter, the part of the brain where the cells are located, from white matter, the part of the brain where the fibrous connections going between cells are located. And how well can you see little structures like the amygdala or the hippocampus? MRI is, is, uh, has terrific spatial resolution and can get uh, almost to the spatial resolution of what, um, what you could see in, in a brain tissue, uh, looking at it grossly. Uh, whereas CT scanning has relatively low resolution, and so you can't see individual structures so well.